Hello YouTube. Just wanted to show you the windmill, wind turbine. It is up and in operation. Uh, it's a beautiful thing to see the solar panels there and then the wood stove and then up here we have the wind turbine. Yesterday it was raining all day and I didn't get any uh, solar but the wind turbine was moving pretty good. It takes about four or five miles an hour and then it uh, it kicks in. So I can walk over here. It actually makes a little sound when it's going. I'm trying to walk and not fall off of the roof here. You probably can't hear it. But it turned out pretty cool. There's that sling that I made that goes up there on the side. Uh, it's the slip ring. I'm gonna back up slowly here so I don't fall off. See, we got about uh, five miles an hour now, and uh, that thing's clipping pretty good. Switching directions, moving nicely. It's funny because it, uh, in the video, it looks like it's hardly moving. But when I see it here in real time, that thing is moving out. So I have uh, some guy wires on there. I got three of them. One goes down to the chicken house down there. One goes, uh, I don't want to get too close to over there, down to the ground over here. And then one goes and attaches to the roof of my workshop and then there's a electrical cable that runs down the center of the post that's there and so I think that I'm about uh, 35 feet roughly up in the air and so once we, we uh, lose the leaves a little bit which is going quickly you can see the mountains right here and stuff, and so uh, there won't be anything really blocking the uh, the wind turbine. So it's really cool, and uh, hopefully it's going to work out quite well. So I just want to show you how I um, mounted it. I got that unistrut right there, and there's two locations that it's mounted on for the pipe. Oh, there it goes, focusing again. And then there is the uh, special clamps over there. Let me walk over there and we'll, uh, we'll have a look at that. So you see, that's a special clamp that goes on there for the, uh, the unistrut, which is the channel, and the uh, pipe, then it goes around there. That is an inch and a half pipe that's what was recommended by the manufacturer and I put it at two locations and it goes into the uh, studs and you can see the wires attached there this thing should run up to like 125 miles an hour that's what I read now I uh, have left this yellow wire uh, kind of exposed for now because I might move this up even higher. I want to see how it rolls first, you know, for a little while, and then, uh, and then I can do that, and then I can finish up the wiring. But then that box just goes straight into the house. I mean the uh, workshop. So inside we have that yellow wire right here, the round one. And that is coming in from the wind turbine. And then it goes to this uh, set of switches here, which is uh, three switches, which I'm going to tie probably a bar straight across here. It was just a lot cheaper than buying uh, a lot of other options to get a, a special switch to shut off all the three uh, legs of the power that comes in. Then we go to, uh, let's see if it'll focus there. There you go. We go to that black item there that's called a rectifier. So there's three wires that attach up there to the wind turbine. 
and the power comes down, and I believe that the power is AC, alternating current. It comes into the rectifier, and that changes it over to DC, direct current. And you have your positive and negative. From there, oh, we run down here. Up, there's a little plug for Missouri Wind and Solar. That's where I got it from. And we have this uh, controller and a way to, um, to dump the excess electricity that it generates. If the battery bank gets full, then, let me see, let me think about this for a second. Yeah, if the battery bank gets full, this relay here will kick in because the charge controller will tell it, let's see if we can turn the light on there. The charge controller will tell it, um, hey, there's too much power going to the batteries. And so it'll take the power and send it over to this uh, deal here. And this is just for, a, a lack of a better term, like an electric heater, like an electric heat strip. And uh, so the electricity will go into there and uh, be used up in there and it'll generate a little bit of heat. Now there's other ways to do that. They call that a dump load and uh, you can also run it to uh, maybe a, uh, a DC uh, water heater element or something along them lines. So I still have to learn all that. So it goes into the charge controller and it sends the DC down to the batteries. Now the batteries are shared between the uh, solar system and the wind turbine. So it can get charged either way. So, so far so good. Everything seems to be working and uh, I'll be learning about this because I might be putting it on the house uh, a little later but um, this is this is where I'm learning so now I can uh, see what I have to do from here and that's why I have a small solar system here too the next thing I'll probably do is get some uh, brand new batteries now these like I said were ones that I salvaged and uh, you know I wanted something that if I burned up it wouldn't be a lot of money out the window and um, so far so good no problem So that about wraps up the wind turbine here. If you have any questions, maybe I can answer it for you. And uh, if you enjoy the video, uh, please uh, like, subscribe, and share. And I'll try to uh, share more things that are going on at the homestead and more of the skills that God's uh, blessed me with. And so I've learned two ways, by just doing things repeatedly and learning that way, and then doing things and making mistakes, which I do I make a lot of mistakes, but that's how you learn. Okay, Benchmade 55 out.